In this video, I would be taking you through the discrete frequency distribution okay now this discrete distrib frequency distribution is meant for the purpose of accumulating certain data which might be available in raw form which may or may not make any meaning so let me give you certain parameters so i was told that the number of schools in a particular locality in Dehradun were as under. We are taking a total of 20 localities. Okay. So let's say you are given this data which says something like this Since we have to take the 20 schools, I have just given the data for 20 schools. Now if someone were to ask you, how many schools are there, or rather how many localities are there where you have 3 schools, what will you do? We will start locating 3 in this data. So you will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, one can do this manually and, you know, as many number of times as you want, but this is not a scientific and an easy method to do. By frequency distribution, what you try to achieve is, you try to put this raw data, as we call it, this is the raw data. You try to put the raw data in a form where, you know, person can easily understand it. So when you draw a discrete frequency distribution, which is one of the methods of presenting this data, what do you do? You put in the first column, okay? And what you put in in the first column is the variables. Now what is it that is a variable here? The variable is the number of school in a locality right so what I try to achieve here is I put on all the variables in the first column now let's see what are the variables that I have variable is the number of schools how many variables I do I have I have one here I mean I can start putting from two here which is the easiest one let me do it like this, 2, then the other variable is 3, whatever is repeating we leave it, then there is 1, 2 we have, 4 is another variable, 5 is yet another variable, and that's about it. So we have all these variables listed here. Now as I look at them, I can put them in the same form. But if you notice, this is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I write this as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, it becomes relatively easier and simpler for anyone to understand it. So in a discrete frequency distribution, you try to put in the raw data into a tabular form, where it can be easily comprehended. The first step is, just at the cost of repetition, you put in all the variables. This is step one. Put in all the variables into this column. Right? Then, the second step is, you start looking at this data and try to put in 
how many time each of these variables is coming that is known as basically the frequency or number of times a variable occur again as i did it earlier you can start counting each one of them independently and put the number here but that is likely to cause some error here or there so what we do is we start using the tally marks to understand what is tally marks you can refer to our previous videos which were meant for earlier classes i mean in case uh, you haven't gone through it but if you understand it nothing like it so you start cancelling from first item and start putting them in the form of tally marks against the respective values so you've got two here so against two you put in one then against you have two so you put in a bar against one three three just put one bar against this three two one 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 two one two two okay three two three four five four five five four two now one two three four so once you've got these four for the fifth one you just put in a cross three one two three four so for the fifth one just put in a cross one right so you write the frequency in the form of tally bars and then count and put in the frequency value out here so how many bars are there one two three four this is five this is five this is three this is three three and three six six and ten sixteen and four twenty so the total of the frequency is twenty which is also the number of times a raw data occurs okay so this is what a discrete frequency distribution is wherein you put this in the form of a table using the tally marks and then counting the frequency right